Welcome back to CTV Morning Live, and we are paging Dr. Paul. Great to have you back on the show. Uh, and, and right off the bat, a lot of us are dealing with, it, with this as we're sending our kids mm -hmm. back to school. They're looking for vaccination and records sure. and to be able to make sure that your kids are caught up and up to that's date. That's right. That's right. There's important uh, information with that. There really is. And it's a good time to just make sure that your child is up to date in his or her immunizations and uh, as part of your back to school preparations. But one of the things that I wanted to talk about today was the fact that the um, Ontario government has added some more vaccines to uh, sort of the, uh, the recipe, if you'd like, uh, the, the schedule that we do. And the most important one that they've added, which actually kids get anyway, um, is the whooping cough, the pertussis vaccination. Um, and we get that. Your kids will have gotten the pertussis vaccine at two, four, six, and 18 months of age, and we give a booster at five years of age. Up until a couple of years ago, we stopped there. And then we realized that as kids got older, their immunity wore off, and we started seeing cases of, of whooping cough. And whooping cough is pertussis, is really a bacteria that causes children and adults as well to cough a lot. You cough, you have coughing fits, and in young children, it could be potentially dangerous, even de deadly. And before the vaccine came out, hundreds of thousands of kids would get sick, but now with a vaccine, it's better. But as the, as the vaccine is wearing off, so we thought that we would add a booster at the 14-year-old, because by the way, children should be getting the, another shot at 14 years of age, and adults don't know this, they should be getting a, a booster for the diphtheria and tetanus every 10 years. So I don't think we would have thought that. A for those that are getting right around that 14 years mm -hmm. of age, do, are the parents aware that well, they, they need to be doing this? We're starting to get people aware. That, and, and what's happening is at that age group, we give them the tetanus and diphtheria shot, and it has the pertussis, the, vex, the whooping cough as well. Up until that last month, that was the only one that was available for kids over 14 years of age. However, we realized that even adults can get whooping cough, not as severe because they're, they're stronger, so they would get like almost like a cold or a bad cold, a bad cough, and they wouldn't, it wouldn't be dangerous for them, uncomfortable but not, not dangerous, mm -hmm. but they would then infect their grandchildren or, or kids. So what the... What this the, is we, contagious. It is contagious. It is contagious. And, and so what we're trying to do now is we're trying to protect the adults who have not got that booster shot of 14 years of age. So every 10 years you should be getting a shot, which is diphtheria and tetanus. One of those should be have the pertussis vaccination, and now that's been made available. So you can call your doctor, your public health unit, and say, you know, I'm an adult over 16 years of age. It's a made available one shot per lifetime. That's all you need. Uh, if you're between 16 and 65, call your doctor. Um, chances are, if you're 16, you've had it at 14 years of age. But adults out there should look at their vaccination record, talk to the doctor, and, and sure that when they get their um, once every 10 year booster one of those shots their next one should include the new pertussis vaccination and this is new this has just been released and publicly funded by the Ministry of Health here in Ontario so I mean this is brand new information how yes. long will this take to trickle down uh, <laughs> until you start to see that more and more Canadians are taking that, advantage of this that's a very good question uh, hopefully we'll be able to see effects within the next year because technically once you get your booster you know within a week or two you're protected and so it will make a difference. So if you happen to have your booster and then be exposed to it and not get it and not spread it, we've, it's done its job. And your, uh, you know, your family doctor, anyone will start You're, to realize they're going to start getting calls that's now right. from people they looking will, to get this they done. They will. The ministry, as a matter of fact, the premier himself announced it uh, at the sick kids a couple of months, a weeks ago, and it's now being made available. Public health units are the ones that are distributing it. So you call Ottawa Public Health, call Eastern Ontario Health Unit, wherever you are in this area, your local public health unit. They'll have information. They can give it to you as well, and certainly your family doctor. Or pediatrician. Yeah, that's definitely some new information for us yes. today. Uh, Dr. Paul uh, joining us. He's the uh, Chief Executive Officer for the Medical Office of the Health uh, of Eastern Ontario. I'm wondering if mine are all <laughs> cut up. Okay, we're going to take a short commercial break. Uh, still plenty more to come here on CTV Morning Live and coming up after the break we have your 8 o'clock news headlines. Stay with us.